from salad bowls at $3.77 to free shots for customers clothed in rainbows. FNB operators are taking steps to draw in the pink dollar after the government announced plans to decriminalize gay sex. But one marketing researcher is warning of a potential backlash. Clara Lee with this report. Just one day after the Prime Minister's National Day Rally speech, this salad franchise is bringing out rainbow colours against its trademark blue colour scheme. The rainbow flag is a symbol of the LGBT social movements, and it's being brought out to mark the planned repeal of Section 377A, a law that bans gay sex. Whether you're a very small SME or if you're a big MNC, the things that you can do to support the community will look very different. But ultimately, as businesses, we have a platform to reach a lot more people than individuals. And therefore, I think it's our responsibility to be able to be the voice of those who don't have one. This comes a year after an agitated passerby harassed those working at this very outlet for their pride flag display. He even went as far as to throw one of them at their staff members. Security footage of the incident circulated the internet and sparked public discussions on social media forums and also an outpour of support for the eatery. The man had since been served with a two-year conditional warning by the police. Ms Lowe expects more businesses to cash in on the pink dollar, but she hopes they'll also go further. It has to come through your different uh, channels, whether it's inclusive hiring practices, looking at your supply chain, uh, and whether or not your employees feel safe to be themselves. For now, she's offering a discount on their salad bowls on Wednesday as part of their marketing strategy. This bar is trying to do the same. For one week starting Tuesday, it's offering a free shot to customers wearing rainbow apparel. Although the owner admits this may not go down well with more conservative customers, it's a risk he's willing to take. We feel that this is something that's important and we want to support um, the LGBT community in particular. Um, so yes, while it might drive some other people away, I think we feel that the customer base that we want to have, whether straight or whether LGBTQ plus, is important for us. But one marketing researcher cautions that businesses will need to brace themselves for a potential backlash. On the internet, you can't please everyone and digital campaigns tend to reach a lot of audience that is beyond your control. So um, every campaign has to have a backup plan. So once there's any uh, negative sentiment being uh, presented on, the, on your social media platform, you need to have a crisis management plan. She advises them to consider tailoring marketing strategies with more open or more conservative messaging going to different media channels.